didn't hear you come in. I'm Richard Phillipson, and this is Science Time. Electricity. We all love it. Whether it's powering a lamp, a vacuum cleaner, or our state-of-the-art Science Time computer lab, where would we be without electricity? Even our guns are powered by electricity. Electricity comes from the Greek word electros. It was first discovered in 1882 by Benjamin Franklin. It's used today to power all sorts of things in our daily lives, such as this high-powered revolver. Don't worry, it's not loaded. That's all well and good, but what exactly makes electricity electric? To help explain how electricity works, we caught up with Professor Horace Meineckel of Kaushal University in Holland, and he'll help explain to us exactly what makes those bits and bots in electricity zap and make our guns go pow. Good morning, Professor Horace. Need an umbrella? <laughs> so tell me about electricity. Electricity is the flow of charged particles called electrons through wires and metals. And with these wires and metals, we can harness the raw power of electricity to power to our cities and our guns to clarify what saying about electricity, we conducted a little science time experiment. To help explain how electricity works, I've erected this conducting pole. If we get some good lightning and it strikes the pole, I should be able to pick it up on my electro reader here. Metal is by far the best conductor of electricity. All the pipes and wires in your home that contain electricity are made of metal. You might notice that I'm grasping the pipe with my bare hand. But don't worry folks, metal is the best container of electricity. Once the pipe is full of electricity, it will surge straight through it. It can't escape. What luck! The pole was hit directly by a surge of lightning. The reading was off the charts. Wow, look at the electro reading on that one. It worked perfectly, and as you can see, I'm completely unharmed. Amazing! We caught up again with Professor Horace to see what he had to say on the experiment. This experiment only confirms the great power and the possibilities contained in the electricity, which we can harness to crush our enemies and take over the world, and once again, Holland... Electricity is good for me and you. It's the thing to do. This may look like a regular piano, but don't be fooled. This is a high-tech, electricity-powered piano. And thanks to Professor Horace, we now know how it works. Science time. It's science time. Science time, time, science time. Well, as you could tell, I'm not much of a musician. We know how electricity works and what it's used for. Let's meet someone who's benefited from electricity. Christian was diagnosed with cancerous legs at the age of nine, but thanks to electrotherapy, he was able to keep his legs. He's now in a permanent vegetable like state and is unable to move any aspect of his body, but at least he's still kicking. Hello, Christian. Can you hear me? C can't you talk? Oh, yeah. Well. Let's leave him be. Sweet little darling, isn't he? And just think, without electricity, Christian here would be dead. Well, thanks to Professor Horace and our little experiment, I now know how my favourite electronic computer games work. Until next time, Science Noughts, this has been Richard Phillipson on Science Time. Stay electrifying!